Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Bay Area Crypt. My name is Gabby, your host. Or is it? I'm just kidding, it is. What is today's makeup look? It's this. And all of this is pretty much, like I would say 90% of it, products that I have not used in forever. And I went ahead and even included makeup application that just I haven't done in forever. And my brushes are so freaking old it is like disgusting i did go ahead and order the new jeffree star brushes because literally my brushes are three years old so i'm like it's time to freaking upgrade girl if you want to go ahead and see how i got this makeup look and see my thought process go ahead and keep watching all right so let's go ahead and get started so i'm gonna go ahead and pin i'm gonna go ahead and pin up my hair these cute little cat ears. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Jeffree Star is quaking. I go ahead and pin them up so that the makeup, if I decide to use, is out of my face. And I don't think, I, the only thing I don't have that is old, I think is foundation, because I've mostly thrown away like all my old foundations, because I think it's like really bad for your skin. Um, if you're using a foundation that's over like a year old or however it says on the canister. I was not playing with you guys when I literally said I had a tub of makeup because I'm not bougie. <laughs> I'm just a regular Jill. I love girls that have like vanities. I'm like, I want a vanity, dude. That sounds amazing. I was literally about to be so sad. Like, girl, I only have one primer and it technically counts it's the old one i've been using it forever it's the smashbox photo finish one um i got it a while ago like i literally had this for like probably like two years by now ew you're nasty this is really good it's like silicone e so it just works really good and i always use it because um i haven't run out and I'm not gonna buy another one until I need to, right? The only thing I buy ahead of time are like shampoos. I don't know if you guys ever do that, but um, I like to buy like when my shampoo's like half full, I like to go ahead and just buy another bottle of it. And sometimes if I know I use something a lot, I'll buy two bottles of it because I go through stuff like pretty quickly. So I don't even know what look we're going to do today because we're just using older makeup. Um, like stuff I have not used forever. So honestly, it could be like literally anything and I'd have like no idea. <laughs> well, we're gonna find out, girl. You'll see right now. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Fit Me one that I have. So we're gonna start, I guess, with foundation. I don't usually start with foundation, but I'm like, whatever. You gotta try new things. And, oh my god. This is something that I'm using that is really old. I think the beauty community like used it like probably around like 2016, I wanna say. But it is this makeup applicator sponge. Look at this. It is so cute. It's like a little heart, like, oh my god. But literally, everyone uses like sponges. And we've seen trends come and go um, as far as like, you know, crazy stuff. You had the brushes, remember that? The Artiste brushes. You had these little applicator, like silicone sponges. Then you had like, using anything which is like i saw some girl use like a bop it to apply her foundation i don't know if you guys ever seen that video i'm just like girl start so i have this applicator and then the foundation so here goes nothing to be honest i like never really use foundation anymore but for the sake of this video it's like you like how does this even work like Look at that, does it just like glide on? Like, like I don't even like that. I do not like this one bit. Like I could see why it uses like less foundation, but it's just like nasty. Oh 
Oh my god, I literally do not like that. Oh my god, this is like literally so bad. Like it looks so streaky and like ugly. Like I don't know how people even used... Am I using the wrong side of it? Like am I supposed to use this side? It's silicone, right? So it doesn't really matter. I don't know. Here, I'll try to use the other side so I like make it even or whatever. This is just... Oh my god, that's too much. That is too much foundation. Look at that. I literally hate this so much right now. Ew, it's getting on my hair too. This is the worst application I have ever tried in my life. So that was like just like a total fail. So I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender because this looks like so streaky and so horrible and just like, I don't, Let's go ahead and blend her out. This literally just saved my life because that was so bad. Like, how did makeup gurus even do that? Like, how was that even a trend? Like, disgusting how bad it was. It's like, ew. <laughs> oh god, that was so bad. So that was a major fail, but our beauty blender just saved us to freaking high heaven because that was like the biggest fail I've seen in a while. And I watch a lot of fail compilations, so I don't know, girl. Anyways, okay, she is done. She is beat. She is slayed to the high heavens as far as foundation goes. I did my brows. I did use um, actually my brow pen, which is kind of old. I have not used it in a while. You can tell because the lettering is freaking fading. Okay, so next up, um, just eyeshadow. Why not, right? So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my old ass brushes. <laughs> Um, since I don't have any more base colors, I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Christian Leanne Daydream palette. My friend gave me this palette for my birthday, I believe, and I have not really used it because, like I said, I've stayed away from a lot of neutrals. So anyways, I'm gonna go in with the shade Lucy and put that in all over my eye just to kind of give it like a nice, like, white Bods. Okay, so I'm going back in with the uh, Lorac Pro palette and I'm going to head and use the shade Latte and Corduroy to see what I can come up with. Alright, so then I'm going to go in with Corduroy and I'm going in with this color design palette. My friend literally gave me this palette in high school. I'm not even kidding. It's not even really a palette. It's like a quad. Oh my god, let's open it up. So old. Oh my god. Look at that. Beauty gurus are quaking everywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and attempt like main one that looks like it's been used so much but it probably hasn't. It's just like been taken off throughout the years in my makeup bag. My makeup bag is so glittery too, like it's it's a sick joke. <laughs> that shade and put it on my lid and see what it looks like. Oh my god, I am so shook right now. Look at that. That is so pretty. Whoa. I'm gonna go in with this one because why not? Let me just put it in like the middle part. And then I'm gonna go in with these darker shades and see what I can do. See if maybe I can like smoke out the edges or something. I'm gonna put a little bit of that last quad shade, this one right here, on the ends right here. Just really smoke them out. Look at my eye right now. Do you see that? It's like natural highlight. Whoa, that one is just like so pretty. That glow is not playing, you guys. Whoa! I am like shook right now. I'm freaking, I'm deceased. This looks really nice, like whoa. I did not expect as much from this little old palette and I have been sleep on this apparently. I think I'm also going to um, go ahead and kind of like blacken my under eye area. Okay, so there's like the 
clean and dry. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put on eyeliner because I never put on eyeliner. I don't have like old eyeliner. It's the Sigma Line Ace Eyeliner. Um, this one works good, but one thing to be noticed is that it does dry really, really fast. So I'm gonna do this like as quick as I can. So I have this Bobbi Brown concealer, which is so freaking old. Um, it's a little bit tan, so I don't even know if that's my shade anymore, but whatever. Go back into that Makeup Forever HD and she's about to be quaking. I'm going to just go ahead and use my Too Faced one. This one is literally the same one that my mom bought me like freaking years ago. I'm not even kidding. It's so old. All right, so I just finished contouring. Now I'm going in with this classic color CG blush. This is so freaking old. It's like a blush and uh, it's got like shimmer in it. So I'm just gonna use this really old like Morphe disgusting brush and try and like blush my worries away, I guess. Whoa, I didn't even need to do highlighter. Ah! It's good because I don't have any old ones. <laughs> kind of like the blush and the highlight kind of just took care of itself. So now all I'm missing is mascara and uh, a good old lippy. So I don't have any old mascara, so we love that. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and use just the one I've had. It's the colossal one. It's not old, but it's not new either. It's like right in the middle. Then I'm gonna go in with my second mascara because I always like to layer it. It's uh, the Colossal Volume Express. It's the same one, but just Cat Eyes by Maybelline. All right, so the winner, I think, of this look that I've gone with, this one is really old. It's my Sephora one. Literally, my best friend bought me this lipstick. Um, I saw it at the store and I was like, girl, I want it so bad. And she was like, bitch, after like the 60th time, she's like, okay, fine, I'll buy it. It's called Crush, and it is so freaking beautiful. Look at that. Ah, oh, that's so like vampy and dark. I don't have a lip liner either, so I'm like, whatever. We're gonna go on fade. This isn't exactly old, but um, it's not new either. It's like in the mid range, and I can't not finish with this Urban Decay All Nighter. Just go ahead and it's gonna lock us in. So, this is what it looks like. This is the final look. Um, I just went ahead and used wow, it actually looks really nice for like older products because. Um, a lot of this stuff I haven't busted out in a while and maybe I should because it's like fall time, right? It's like Girl, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked today's video Don't forget to go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and Like and subscribe would be super awesome. You know the subscribe buttons right there. Just boop, press it It's all good. My name is Gabby. I am from Bay Area Crypt. Have an awesome rest of your day